When it comes to Chopin's play style, fortunately there are many written sources that describe it. In this video I'll try to summarize them and divide them into aspects, features, characteristics of Chopin's play. Characteristic number one, Chopin played in rhythm. It's a relatively little known fact, but very well documented, that Chopin played in strict rhythm. The first indication are quotes of his piano students. For example, Friederike Müller said the following. He demanded the strictest adherence to rhythm. He hated all lingering and dragging, misplaced rubatos, as well as exaggerated ritardandos. And it is precisely in this respect that people make such terrible errors in playing his works. From this quote we can also see that he didn't like it when people artificially overdo certain music elements. He didn't like lingering, dragging, exaggeration, etc. We can also notice that this is actually the way most people play his music today. There is also another quote from Karol Mikuli, also one of his pupils. In keeping time Chopin was inexorable, and some readers will be surprised to learn that the metronome never left his piano. Even in his much maligned tempo rubato, the hand responsible for the accompaniment would keep strict time, while the other hand singing the melody would free the essence of the musical thought from all rhythmic fetters, either by lingering hesitantly or by eagerly anticipating the movement with a certain impatient vehemence akin to passionate speech. Apart from these quotes, the indication of his rhythmical play are the exact metronome markings he put in the music sheets, for example in this first edition of Nocturne's Opus 9. There are markings for 116, 132 and 66 beats per minute. And there are many more examples which can be found in his other music sheets. Number 2. Swing, shuffle, accent change. It's a very little known feature of Chopin's music, which can only be noticed when playing in rhythm. Chopin liked to change accents on the notes, which gave his music a very modern sounding swing or shuffle feel. Here are some examples which respect the original accent markings in the music sheets. Number 3. Rubato. A well-known aspect of his play is also tempo rubato. Rubato is defined as expressive and rhythmic freedom by a slight speeding up and then slowing down of the tempo. One quote I mentioned earlier already describes the way Chopin played rubato. I will just highlight this part now. As can be seen, Chopin's rubato was different to how it's generally played today. Right now the rhythmical values are almost never respected, and both left and right hands played out of rhythm, which is a very big difference to the original Chopin's rubato. There are also other quotes describing his rubato, and they all contain similar descriptions. In general, they state that in Chopin's rubato, the left hand plays strictly in rhythm, like a clock, while the right hand that plays the melody can speed up or slow down depending on the feel. I will now show some more descriptions of Chopin's rubato I could find.
Number 4. Legato and Cantabile. When playing, Chopin glided over the keyboard, connecting the notes fluently, as opposed to a more, in his own words, German style, where keys are hit more strongly and are more disconnected from each other. Such smooth connecting of the notes is called legato. A feature of Chopin's music closely related to legato is cantabile, which means song-like, or in singing style, which means his music had features of singing or a human voice. The legato and cantabile aspects of Chopin's style, as well as the numerous ornamentations he used, were inspired by the bel canto singing style. Chopin loved the vocals of the famous singers of his time, like Rubini, Pasta, Malibran, Grisi and others, who had great influence on his compositions and music style. Here are some of the quotes describing Chopin's legato and cantabile style of play. Number 5. Chopin's music is chamber music, not concert music. Even though currently Chopin's music is played mainly at concerts, Chopin himself was a chamber musician. This is best illustrated in his own words. Concerts are never real music. You have to give up the idea of hearing in them all the most beautiful things of art. Chopin preferred a more informal style playing whatever one feels and wants to hear deep inside, or letting yourself go. He once said, forget you're being listened to and always listen to yourself. This can be contrasted with the rather tense and formal atmosphere of concerts, and also with, in his words, shameless confidence with which some people play music. There is a quote I like which illustrates Chopin's preference for a more free and relaxed music style. I haven't found any explanation of what vulgaris means in this context. The word vulgar has surprisingly many meanings. It can mean something common, ordinary or crude, but also false, not genuine, lacking tact or taste, or of poor artistic quality. From the context it seems it can mean the latter, but I cannot say this for sure. Number 6 instrument type. Even though not directly related to music style, the preferred piano brand or type can also give the feel for someone's play style. Chopin's favorite piano manufacturer was Pleyel. Since it's difficult to describe the sound of an instrument, I can recommend the videos where people play Pleyel pianos, as well as various virtual instruments which sample or simulate the sound of this piano brand. That's all in terms of the main aspects of Chopin's music I wanted to show. The quotes I used mainly come from a book titled Chopin, Pianist and Teacher, as seen by his pupils. I hope this video was useful and thank you for watching.